All right, step-by-step -step guide. And the long pauses are to actually give a visual indicator on the SoundCloud page. Question one. So the question here is, what are the most common themes within country of origin effect theory, which basically requires you to go out and do secondary research? It requires you to go out and actually undertake a research into the topic area of country of origin effect and come up with a brief summary of, or basically a brief literature review. Now that literature review needs to do more than just tell me what the uh, themes are, it has to tell me what the themes are, but it also has to answer the second part of the question, which is, how can these themes be used to inform the PWX management of the possible benefits or problems of emphasising the Canadian development origins? So the challenge here in question one is that you have to understand country of origin effect and report back as a what are the managerial impacts of this framework, this concept, this idea. Now, first thing is, you know, the rule that you're going to hear frequently in this video is think like a marketer. Where can you use country of origin effect? Where are you going to use it in the marketing mix? How are you going to make use of this? Does it fit with the extended product? Does it fit into promotion? Is it a price to be overcome? Is it a distribution issue? How does it work? Give me the summary of what the themes are. Give me the application of how the themes can impact on management decisions. Now, as far as, look, this is the external reference playground. This is where you're gonna have your best chance to use external references of anywhere in the entire subject, because obviously, I'm asking you to go out and research different theories. Do not copy and paste stuff. Do not copy and paste chunks of text from the internet in here and hope to answer this and survive. One, it's plagiarism. Two, it's artless. Three, it's tacky. Seriously. And four, it won't actually answer the question. The question is, how can these themes be used by PWX? So you've got to know what the themes are, and then you've got to tell me how you're going to use them. Remembering as well here that this is a report. You don't have to answer the questions in linear sequence. What you can do is go out, find out all the country of origin effect theory, get your theme base together, then answer a bunch of the other questions, then come back and say, hey, look, there's some stuff in the data set that makes themes 4, 7, and 12 really useful. Let's emphasize those. So non-linearity is fine. Marketing research is, you know, a lot of people try and pretend it's like nice and linear, but it's really sort of a big ball of, you know, market researchy stuff. The two hints I will give you for um, the what to do with question one. Hint number one is summarize, draw the themes together. And hint number two is, don't forget to tell me how you plan on doing it. Show your working applies to this section. So tell me how you, give me a two sentence, how you're going to run your uh, research here. Go off, do it, bring back the themes, integrate the themes into the management decision. Question two. This is going to be an interesting question because there are sub questions to it. All four sub questions are important, and you have to address all four sub questions. So I'll read the questions out, then let's then you get to listen to me talking about it. What is the level of perceived Canadian influence in the wrestling in wrestling according to the sample? 
What are the attitudes of pro wrestling fans to non-American wrestling? Are Canadian wrestlers recognisable to an international audience? Are there any major candidates to consider for celebrity endorsement of the product? All right, from the top, first thing is first. You can't modify open one and open two. These are, and I will speak in terms of variable names because it's my data set and I know the variables and you're actually, uh, you'll get used to them as you analyze it. Okay, first thing I want to say is that the Canadian wrestlers recognizable to an international audience. Obviously there is a, uh, there are two questions on the survey. One is name female res Canadian wrestlers. The other is name male Canadian wrestlers. Right, so that's step one. That if you're not nailing that bit, uh, the closest thing to a trick in this uh, really is that you are now into having to do analysis. You're actually having to run some uh, statistics in here. Now, this is what I want to talk to you about. Is I'm going to teach you the methods. I'm going to tell you about correlations. I'm going to tell you t-tests, frequencies, descriptives. This is why you have the requirement of the show you're working, is that you've got to pick what you want to use and say why you're using it. Now, in terms of perceived Canadian influence in wrestling, there are questions that answer that directly, uh, and I'm quite happy to mention them to you, because that's talking about credibility, uh, and the two variables are cred and association, ASOC. If you're using the large PWX data sets, you'll find that the credibility questions cover quite a wide range of nations. If you're using the cut down uh, data set, I did reduce that number of uh, variables you've got in there. Now what you need to do to answer this question is you've got to give me a report about perceived Canadian influence. So you've got to analyze the questions that talk about Canada and wrestling. Then, the attitudes of pro wrestling fans to non-American wrestling. This is where you get to make some decisions. How do you want to treat non-American wrestling in the data set? There are individual items. You can create a scale, a sum to total. You can look for a sum, mean average of you know, American wrestling, non-American wrestling. Your choice, just tell me why you're going to do it and how you're going to do it. And then do it. And then actually give me an answer here. So what's, you know, what's the level? How would you describe the level? And think about you know, what's the best way to present this data? Is it you know, graphically? Is it visually? Is it an infographic? What is the best way to answer this? And you know, continue to use your word count. Uh, the third, fourth point, there is a little uh, caveat that you should consider is, are Canadian wrestlers recognizable to an international audience? And the hint here is, an international audience is an audience that doesn't consist of Canadians. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of manipulation with the data set and take the Canadians out of the data set temporarily because you don't wanna be answering what Canadians think about Canadian wrestlers, do you? Now to do that, there's some um, stuff that, uh, in the tutorials that we taught you how to do selecting of cases and how to create variables. Uh, that, will, that is actually, that um, piece of information is up on the Waddle, so go find that, go track that down. In terms of the external references for this section, again, you're looking at, talking about what decisions are you making, what analysis are you running, and how are you running it so that you are justifying those decisions. Question three. All right, this is again, another set of analysis coming up here. Now, Question three links to question one. Question one 
asked you to talk about the themes in country of origin effect. Question three is talking about does the Canadian country brand influence perceptions of wrestling products? Then you have to make a decision. Is it a beneficial or harmful influence? Does the data suggest that you should play up the Canadian side, or does this data suggest that you should play down the Canadian aspect? Then the third part of this question, the third element here is, what are the attitudes towards professional wrestling games and software based on the country of development of the software with reference towards Canadian software? I mean, let's face it, this is the most blunt asked question you are going to see. This is the, it's not completely the management question, but it's a big, big chunk of it. So whoever's got question three, if you haven't got question six, you might want to look at a trade here. Now, again, you're looking for relationships. You're looking for a question of what is the influence? How do we measure influence? So you need to tell me how you're going to measure influence. You're going to justify why you're using those measures of influence. And then you're actually going to also give me an answer. And that is, if I do not see either word, you're either going to say Canadian influence is beneficial, or Canadian influence is harmful. This is a green light, red light. This is a green card, red card situation. You have to say one or the other. So you have to make that call. For those of you who like to be neutral, tough. The attitudes towards, uh, basically attitudes with reference to Canadian software. Okay, there's two other, there's two things here. One is that there are questions in the quantitative data that directly answer this. So you've got quantitative analysis that you can use to hit up that third question. And you can raid the thirds, you can raid the questions in the open-ended, particularly open six, which talks where I said, you know, any questions, any statements, an open-ended question, and people talk about Canadian software. And the points get scored here by how you answer, how you explain what you're going to do, and what you tell us in terms of giving us a green light, red light, giving us saying, yes, this is beneficial, no, it's harmful, these are the attitudes, this is how it's uh, panning out in this data set. So you've got a whole lot of choices you can work with here. Uh, this is not the biggest of the questions in terms of its open-ended nature, but you do have a lot of, you have an opportunity here to be creative, to be smart about your data and to do interesting things. So again, the areas I recommend is, I think, the variables of credibility, cred, rest, association, tradition, origin, and the open-ended six. A lot of interesting stuff to be done in there. So, again, that's why I'd say start. But also, don't forget to go back to question one and look for those elements that you can take from question one, the what are the themes of country of origin effect, to the practical question of what does the Canadian country brand do? So this is why you asked to do question one is because question three depends on those principles. And at this point, you haven't figured out how we're gonna pull off the external references section. I'm not talking to you. I'm not telling you that. 